Carolyn McCarthy, she came here for, uh, to Congress for all the right reasons, to fight for things she believes in, for good things that will make the world a lot safer in memory of her family and the violence that they had endured. And I know now she's sponsor of a bill with my congressman. Yes. Mike Castle. Yes. So she works with both sides of the aisle, which is something we all know we have to do. And she is a real champ. Thank you, Sarah. You know, I know a lot of people, when they read the paper or they listen to the news, it's almost like you blur over that someone was shot, someone was killed. And I'll be very honest with you. Um, you know, a lot of us that are in this fight and the tragedies that come along and you sit there and you go, I can't take another one. And then Virginia Tech happened. Virginia Tech, to me, I can't describe to you as I watched what happened. I can't tell you how I felt because it brings you back to that moment that you found out that your husband had been killed, five others were killed, your son was fighting for his life, chances of surviving was nothing. I went back up to my leadership, I had a bill, and I said to Nancy, if you don't get this bill passed, if you don't get this bill passed, I'm out of here. And I meant that. And I said, the bill can do a lot of good. It's not going to stop any all the killings, but you have to show that we are going to do something and not just stand by and let the NRA dictate everything that we do in the House. Well, the bill passed in the House. It's the next bill. It passed. We got, we got it into the uh, Senate, and it was supposed to go through a unanimous consent, and one of our famous uh, uh, senators uh, decided to put a hold on it. You know, and I went up to talk to him. I'm not going to give the name out, but he does it to everybody. And we kept talking and talking and talking. It was probably about six weeks, two months later. He called, and he said, I'm letting it go. It's fine. We'll, you know, we'll pass it. Well, he got on the Senate floor. And he started talking about me on how gracious I was and how wonderful I was and how this great bill was going to save lives. And I'm sitting there listening to this, and I'm going, my God, just vote yes. <laughs> and he did. But you know what? Those are the battles that we have to continue to fight. And I do believe, I do believe, with all your support, you know, and we certainly appreciate, you know, when you give money and uh, to keep the center to go and to keep the law center going, but you got to start reaching out to your neighbors. You really have, we're asking you to do a little bit more. Start writing editorials in your local papers. You know, when you see uh, the NRA and the blogs that I get, I mean, they're horrible, but they s send this hate out there the shooting at the Holocaust Museum. You know, there's a fringe group out there that a lot of people should be very nervous about. And if we don't close the gun show loophole, those people can go there and buy their guns. Now, these people are not, you know, your typical gun owner. These are dangerous people. Their thoughts are dangerous on so many levels. And a gun to them is a solution. And if we don't raise our hands and say, enough, stop, we are all going to be the losers. When there was a terrible shooting upstate New York, a priest up there, a reverend, his comment was, well, I guess our number was up. And the reporter said, what do you mean? He said, well, these kind of shootings are happening all the time now. He said, so I guess our number was up. Is that what Americans are feeling? You know, we don't want to wait to have more victims get involved in the fight. We need a lot of you that haven't been touched 
by violence to yourself, but you're out there doing the right thing anyhow. We need to grow that camp. Anybody will tell you, we have more numbers across the United States, and we do. And somehow, and gosh knows we've been trying, to bring all those voices together and speak as one voice. If we can do that, we outnumber the NRA. NRA members each actually think that we should be doing something. But we have to speak with one voice. And I know it's very uh, disheartening a lot of times for all the different lawyers that are out there and they go to court and they're fighting to try and change because the, uh, the judges would say, this is a legislative issue. And the judges say, we can't make that decision. And then, of course, look what happens in Washington. We can't get bills through. So we have to fight in the courts. We have to have the victories in the courts. We have to bring them to their knees. That is the only way that we're going to stop the violence that we're seeing in this country. And yes, with the economy being the way it is, unfortunately, it only begets more violence because people are at the end of their ropes. And to have the easy access of guns in this nation is wrong. You know, the battle will be, and uh, I do believe, by the way, with what we're seeing because of Mexico and the assault weapons that are going back and forth, the battle that the Brady's won on the assault weapons ban. We didn't see those guns on the streets. And now they're on the streets more than ever. Gangs in my village, Mineola, suburban area, Nassau County, Suffolk County, the gangs, again, are outgunning my police officers. And no one even knows this in my little village, and I called my district my village. I can guarantee you two, three times a week, someone is killed, mostly under the age of 18, right in my own backyard. So what we need to do is work harder. That's what you need to do. I'll work harder, but I need all of you to support the center because they can get the uh, people out there to send the emails. I'm begging you to really, really get involved and to bring friends in. I ask you to support, I beg you to support the Brady Center and the Law Center. They are doing good work. We can continue it and I wanna continue my work. So let's make a difference. You wanna be a little depressed? It's okay. We allow depression one day out of the month. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You can stay in bed, put the cover over your, your head, but then you know what? We gotta face the real world to make the difference, to have it be the world that we want. That's why you're all here. We want a better world, and gosh darn it, we're gonna do it no matter what. Thank you.